Hello, and welcome back to yet another review. Uh, yesterday, we reviewed Steven. Um, let's just do another little look at him. Wooden Railway Steven. And today, we are going to look at Caitlin. Um, I picked these up again at the Toys R Us counter at a 20% off Thomas sale. I just went there to go see what they had. And these are the only two King of the Railway products they had. And they didn't have many of them either. They only had one Steven and two Caitlins that I could see. Although the stock was really confusing as well. So before we get to opening it, let's look around the packaging. Again, I think it would be really nice to show some information about the character instead of uh, all the marketing information. But again, you know. Uh, it would be nice if they still had character cards or at least just showed character information on the back. But you can't. <laughs> um... Here we have Caitlyn, yep, again, King of the Railway, um, I haven't seen King of the Railway yet, again, um, pretty much the same box, just with the King of the Railway thing on it, and it says Caitlyn on it, instead of Steven, so yeah, um, that's what the underneath of the box looks like, so let's get to opening her. Always have trouble getting a grip of this. Some people just tear apart the boxes. I try and be a little bit more <laughs> respectful to the boxes. I don't know why, but you know, it's just. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what any of this means. You know, service.fisherprice.com in case there's something wrong with it. This product contains magnets. Do not use around items that are sensitive or affected by magnetic fields. Caitlin, do not go near the fridge. Okay, so. Oh dear, I've never turned plastic while opening these before, actually. Um, I actually haven't opened um, any wooden railway engines. I've gone out and bought new wooden railway engines for a while, so. Caitlin, the box can stand or not <laughs> over here. And we actually have Caitlin here. Um, again, she's very, very lightweight, actually. Um, her chassis kind of reminds me of Murdoch's chassis. Uh, she is actually really, really good. She's a really good-looking model. Um, she's got the cab detailing here, just the back of the cab. If you look at her from the back, it looks kind of bland, but, you know... Um, okay, that's interesting. Uh, the bogey is actually plastic. It's not wood, like it is. Is it? It's, it's wood on Steven. Not a lot about her tender. It's wood on her tender, but it's plastic on here. That's interesting, because they got Murdoch's chassis to spin around like that, and I think, I'm pretty sure that was made out of wood. But you know what? It's a toy, right? Uh, Caitlin's front is plastic, and boiler and cab are wood, and so is the tender, except for the coal. Um, granted, because I highly doubt that they can make a such a good-looking face out of wood, and I highly doubt that they can make coal out of wood <laughs> um, without charging us an extra thirty dollars to pay the people to hand carve it. So you know, I mean, really. Well, the product, they already charge you $30 for it, at least at Toys R Us Canada, including taxes. But I'm not too bothered, because they are quality products, and they do last a while. Um, you've got the little smokestack detailing on the top. It's blue. Actually, I haven't really noticed Caitlyn from the top before, so I don't know if her smokestack's actually blue, or her funnel, if we're speaking in British terms, which we probably are, but Caitlyn is American. Um, I've got, I'm not sure what those are. I think those are, uh, chimneys as well. Chimney, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too good with, uh, naming the parts of train engines. But, let's, um, I'm actually going to focus the camera now. There we go, now you can see the detail a bit better. While doing that, I actually noticed that there's a little bit of red paint on that little mark there. Um, let's just overview the body a bit. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, there we go. Focused and ready to go. 
just turn her around. I like the way that this looks actually, the camera angle on this. Just keep focusing the camera. <laughs> um, yeah, the nameplate reads Caitlin. And, um, you know, it's a pretty basic engine, pretty basic model. Um, you know, there's not too much detailing on it. It's definitely not as much detail as Steven. But granted, I mean, Caitlin at the same time is... She is a really detailed engine, but how do you put all that detail into wood? And you can't, really, unless you just paint it on. And I'm not sure if exactly you could paint on handrails that are the exact same color. So, um, yeah. It is uh, a really good model, actually. It's really nice. In the long run, you know, the kids, they, they'll love it. Kids will love this. Um, I'm actually a bit confused, though. it might be something with design, but why they didn't put on two bogeys instead of one large bogey and one static bogey. Um, yeah, again, it's like Murdoch's chassis, but I'm not too bothered. And then, let's just do a quick overview of our tender. Do 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 do. Um, nice little, I like the, uh, the blue stripe on it. Oh, I can see in between the tender and the coal. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, you can see that if you look very closely. You can see Steven through that. Then you've got that. Oh, there's like, seems to be a little piece of plastic that actually goes in between the magnet and the block of wood, if you look closely. But I don't know why that is. Um, just look underneath. Caitlin's tender, then product codes and stuff that I don't know anything about. And I'm coupling it on the wrong way. Is this supposed to be like that? I thought that the stripe connected through Kate. I don't... Is the magnet the wrong way? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look at the back of the box. No, it's the right way. It is the right way, apparently. I need to watch King of the Railway. <laughs> Need, need no need to say more. But you know what? Just drives back and forth. Nice little model. Well, not so little. It's bigger than Stephen. But together, Gatlin and Stephen, it actually looks rather good. <laughs> that looks like a nice little shot there. So yeah. Anyway, this has been a review on Wooden Railway Caitlin. Great addition to any collection, be it Trackmaster, Take and Play. Or wooden railway, because I haven't seen the Taken Player Trackmaster, so. But from their looks, they look brilliant. So, you know what? Um, yeah. Very good model. And I love it. <laughs>